It should be. I don't know that it always is, but it should be. That would be very important. Yeah. I don't think they would define that themselves. I think if you took a standpoint outside those communities and somebody said, try to find something that's common ground, then you may say that, but I don't think that they would necessarily define their own purposes. All those groups would define their own purposes in that way. I think we all have a responsibility as just being part of the human race to try to live together safely and harmoniously. Uh, I don't think that's the only purpose that we have. I think uh, always striving to um, exchange ideas and thoughts, to try to reach uh, agreements where there are differences is important. Not all of them, any of that um, actually. I think that religious people, atheists and secularists can, are groups that contain all sorts of individuals not all of whom do aim to create a safe environment to live in. I'd like to think that there are fewer atheists and secularists who have got the safe environment thing wrong than there are religious people. Uh, yeah, generally speaking, no, but I don't think so. No, I think, I was thinking about that this morning, I was thinking that uh, essentially what we do throughout our lives is look for security. And uh, well, the Richard Bransons and the people who strive and strive for, for money are probably, fundamentally, in many ways, very insecure. And that is why they feel this night need to strive. No, for much the same reason as Chris just said, there's such diversity of views, including within the minority camp, atheism and secularism, that it's hardly it, it doesn't quite make sense. I would say that the views of secular humanists and of um, most practicing believers are, in terms of this world, uh, tend, tend to be much more similar than their opposed worldviews would su suggest. Uh, I don't think there's a consensus on that. Atheists come in many shapes and sizes. Secularists, if you take the strict meaning of secularists, just uh, just about a way of organising society rather than having a set of doctrines or particular aims. Religious people vary, of course, by their by the religion they adhere to and whether that lays down some kind of strict regime. Um, about their lives, so they might not actually be interested in generating a safe environment so much as complying with the, the doctrines in some holy book. I'm sure they all are motivated by the same desire to create a safe environment, but you know sometimes people when they propagate their beliefs, like the atheists for example, they could easily inadvertently do damage to society, damage to environment, because they are trying to shake the fundamental belief of people who have believed in those things for centuries. And anything that destabilizes society creates unrest. And in a state of unrest, you can inadvertently damage the environment because of the behavior of those who are being destabilized, for example. I think we like to think that it is, I question, as a secularist, I question the role of religion in producing a safer environment. So if you look at, uh, look back at history, you find that there's so many examples of wars and conflicts that certainly have a religious component, either Catholics versus Protestants, or Muslims versus Christians, or the other way. Or, um, so for me, I feel that religion is associated with conflict. Of, as a secularist, I feel like secularism itself is quite an optimistic view actually, because secularism is saying that if we can just separate religion from politics, we can all live together um, happily. And um, I understand that that might be a bit naive, but we do hope that that would be a possibility. But there's very few examples in history actually of different religious groups living together in harmony for uh, you know very long.